Of course it, it always makes me feel weird. It's, it's like, oh yeah, I can't wait for you to break up with your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She's hot. I can do her. <laughs> I can do her right. Chronicles of the Nerds here with writer Matt Fraction, uh, a uh, exclusive writer for Marvel now, right? Correct. Or First question is: There's been a lot of disappointment lately because Iron Fist has been having such trouble with uh, maintaining, it, staying in print. Uh, is there any possible plans, basically, of, of you going back to Iron Fist at all? No. Not that I'm saying that the, the, the book is in any way like The Clash, The Clash's output, but if, for example, The Clash had retired after London Calling and not made Sandinista and Combat Rock, The Clash would be the greatest rock band of all time. There's no way we wouldn't blow it if we went back to Iron Fist. Oh, it used to be good, mm -hmm. and, and I think every, everybody's so happy with the work we did, it was like, I'd we'd rather go out on a high point than suffer the inevitable decline. And David had to leave, and Ed had to leave, and it was like, you know what, let's just not wreck it. We've done, we've had a good stand. We, we had the longest run of anybody at that point, so let's call it a victory and get off the stage. We have uh, you working on X-Men right now. What really made you go and say, you know what, Namor, Cloak and Dagger, Magneto, these people need to be on the X-Men? Well, they're all mutants. And I know that there's some debate as to whether or not Cloak and Dagger are mutants. You know what, I get to write the X-Men, they're mutants. Actually, I think Dan Buckley would argue with me about that, weirdly mm -hmm. enough. Uh, maybe they're not mutants. But um, it was different. It was not picking the bones of Chris Claremont's, uh, Chris, Chris Claremont's body of work. It was something different. And, and Namor is half a mutant, and uh, a Magneto, and presenting Magneto as a, as a conciliary sort of presence in Scott's life, it was different. It wasn't the same stuff again and again, and that's, I think, the, 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 the X-Books can, can become stagnant so easily. I didn't want to sit back and look at look at a run and be like, ah, it was, you know, I was just trying to, I was just rewriting Claremont stories or whatever. So it was at least different and, and, and a change in, and, uh, um, in a book about evolution, it seems like change is perhaps not a, 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 a good operating procedure rather than just a, a tagline, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was a way to complexify and complicate and bring new blood in and look for new stories that hadn't been told before. As far as characters that you are really excited to, to write, that, that you you have high hopes for, is there any uh, characters in particular that you're, you're really wanting to do stuff with or that you haven't really had a chance to work with yet? Yeah, but I don't like to answer that question specifically because it suggests that I think I could be doing a better job than other... You know what I mean? I, okay. I don't want to... I don't want to sound like I'm bagging on anybody's work. But yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a big, really big toy box and there's a lot of fun toys in there. I overheard you, you say you can't announce any news about Casanova, but you can announce that there's going to be an announcement soon? Yeah, yeah, July. In July, there's going to be a big announcement regarding Oh, shit. Ca <laughs> well, the announcement is next month. Oh, next and month? And the announcement's going to be July, so. Okay. July. We'll have, there will be a new Casanova number one for San Diego. We can cut that out if you want. I don't give a shit. Okay, cool. So, so Casanova... I've, I've, been very, I've been very loose lipped about it. It's kind of out there already. But I'm, not official? Yeah, it's not official. The official announcement comes next month. Hey, this is Matt Fraction, and you're watching Chronicles of the Nerds. No, you can do another one if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this is Matt Fraction, and we've scientifically engineered the javelin to match Lamar's limp-wristed throwing style.